Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be here for very long, but sure. I need you to tell me the truth about something, Molly. Well, like I said, I'm on my way out. Did Paul Ryan call the Canadian authorities and tell them about Cabot? I don't know. You know, Paul and I aren't friends. He doesn't tell me what he does or doesn't do. I think he might have told you this. Well, Greg, I know that you're hurting or losing your son. But pointing fingers isn't going to bring him back. Yes, you're right. And he's with his mother. Fine, fine, fine. But I have been betrayed, Molly. And I need to know who betrayed me. Well, good luck with that. Could I have my coat? Molly, all around my house are memories of the son I almost had. There's toys, his favorite blanket. And it's very quiet. No crying, no twinkle, twinkle. I feel for you, Craig. I do. I know. Because you've gone through this, you know what it's like. How empty a house, how empty a heart can feel when children are taken away. It's not the same. Or Jim, Michelle. We're stolen out of your life. I know you feel that pain. Oh, God. Why are you doing this? Because I need you to help me, Mom. As one grieving parent to another, I need you to tell me the truth about Paul Ryan. Fine, Craig. I didn't lose Bridget Michelle because I tried some illegal adoption process. I lost Bridget and Michelle because Jake died. You went and found your misery. Mine came looking for me. Molly, I thought the adoption was legitimate. All right? Now, all I am saying here is pain is pain, and I think you know what I mean. I can't make it better for you. I know. You're not doing this for me. You're doing this for yourself. 